Good morning creators. This video serves to fix a bug from my terrain paint tutorial. You'll notice when you approach custom terrain paint, it's going to have these black lines and dots. Obviously you don't want that. You don't want that glitchy effect. And the fix is pretty simple. Might take a few minutes, but I'll run you through it. So the core issue is the set material attributes node. And to fix this, you're going to first disconnect your layer blend. Go back to this turn the material use material attributes off and your layer blends I'm just going to disconnect it first are going to go into each element so the one's going to go into base color copy it again this one is going to go into for example if I want to use roughness I can use that if I want to use normal connect it to normal and so we're going to connect each element by the type of element. So for example, we have our color, our normal, and this pink one. We aren't really using this one. Uh, I'm not using it in this example, so I'm just going to go ahead and make my life a little bit easier by getting rid of them. And I'm going to put this one over here, also in line. I'm also using a color with a multiply. Multiply is going to be the color texture. I'm going to get rid of this set material attributes node because obviously that's the issue. So it's it's going to involve a little bit of cleanup. But that's all right. So we've got our normals below. I'm going to get rid of that. And I'm going to paste this over here. We have our color up here. Along with this multiply. Because we also want to color this. And we're going to move that down there. So it's this closer. Of course the organization is up to you. Doesn't really matter for me because I'm just fixing the stick. But in general, just make sure that you know which goes with what. For example, this terrain edge goes with this top. I didn't need this. Uh, of course, you all have some loose nodes in places. Um, keep your slope mask. We use this slope mask for the uh, for the grass terrain. So I'm just going to paste that over here. It's going to be up here. And my other slope mask I'm going to cut and paste over here because that's what I use for the other two. Next, instead of a blend material attributes, you're going to press on L and create a lerp node. And so this is going to be your alpha. And just to preview, make sure it works. You're going to connect this to your, your A and this to your B. You'll see it lines up perfectly. And so your lerp is going to feed into your landscape layer blend for grass stone. And that of course connects to your base color. I'm gonna move this over here. If you want to create your next one, just copy that. Paste it down, lerp. You want to connect your color. Oh, of course, um, I actually want to connect my color, so I'm going to add that there instead. Okay, for these ones, just keep track of where it's at. This is the terrain, so I'm going to add it at A. This is the top, so I'm going to add it at B. If you want to preview, preview like that and of course we have our slope mask which we're going to apply to the alpha <laughs> and we'll see that then of course we're going to connect this to our landscape layer blend now you're going to do the same thing for the bottom so I want to copy my slope masks from the top and the bottom
and create some more loops. So for example, I'm con gonna connect that to B, um, to B, because that is the terrain. And I'm connect this one to, oh, that's B, because that's at the top. This one is A, because that one's on the terrain. It's flipped. Anyways, this is gonna be a mask. Create another lerp. Of course, mask. This is the terrain, so I'm gonna put it at A. And this is the top, so I wanna put this at B. We're gonna move our landscape layer blend over here. This is our grass stone, so we're gonna connect it there. And this is our sandstone, so we're gonna connect it there. Of course, that's gonna be properly connected. And you'll find that this will fix the issue. And after pushing your changes, you'll notice in game, it's all fixed. So if you found this bug fix helpful and the original tutorial helpful, please consider subscribing, leaving a like, and uh, hope you all have an amazing day.